what is the essential nature of a mature person is physical maturity that i am speaking of no certainly not people mature physically but they do not mature in the real sense the qualities of mature person are really strange first he is not a person when i say he is not a person he does not have a personality he is no more a self. he has a presence but he is not a person he is more like a child simple and innocent that is why i said the qualities of a mature person are very strange because maturity gives a sense as if he has experienced as if he is aged old physically he may be old but his spirituality he is an innocent child his maturity is not just experience gained through life then he will not be a child then he will not be a presence he will be an experienced person knowledgeable but not mature maturity has nothing to do with your life experiences maturity has nothing to do with your life experiences in reality it has something to do with your inward journey experiences of the inner the more he goes deeper into himself the more mature he is when he has reached to the very center of his being he is totally mature but at that moment the person disappears and there remains only a presence the self disappears only silence remains knowledge disappears only innocence remains to me maturity is another name for enlightenment or realization you have come to the fulfillment of your potential it has become actual the seed has come a long journey and has now blossomed maturity has a fragrance it gives a tremendous beauty to the individual it gives a certain kind of intelligence the sharpest possible intelligence it makes him nothing but an embodiment of love his action is love his inaction is love his life is love his death is love he is just a flower of the west has definitions of maturity which are very childish west means by maturity that you are no longer innocent that you have ripened through your life experiences that you cannot be cheated easily that you cannot be exploited that you have within you something like a solid rock a protection a security this definition is very ordinary and very worldly yes in the world you will find mature people of this type but the way i see maturity is totally different diametrically opposite to this definition the maturity will not make you rock instead it make you so vulnerable so soft so simple i remember once a thief entered a master's house it was full moon night and by mistake he had entered otherwise what can you find in a mass
master's house. The thief was looking and was amazed that there was nothing. And then suddenly he saw a man who was coming with a candle in his hand. The man said, what are you looking for in this dark? Why did you not wake me up? I was just sleeping nearby and I could have showed you the whole house. The man looked so simple, so innocent, as if he could not conceive that anybody could be a thief. Before his simplicity and innocence deceived, the thief said, Perhaps you do not know I am a thief. The master said, It does not matter. One has to be someone. The point is that I have been in this house for 30 years and I have not found anything. So let us search together and if we can find something, we can be partners. I have not found anything in this house. It is just empty. The thief was a little F. The man seemed to be strange and certainly when a person talks like this you will find he is strange, he may be mad. The thief thought either he is mad or who knows what kind of man he is. He wanted to escape because he had brought things from the other two houses that he had left outside the master's house. The master had only one blanket and that was all that he had. It was a cold night. So he told the thief, do not go this way. Do not insult me in this way, otherwise I will never be able to forgive myself. That a poor man came to my house in the middle of the night and had to go empty-handed. Just take this blank and it will be good. Outside it is so cold. I am inside the house. It is warm here. He covered the thief with his blanket. The thief was just losing his mind. He said, what are you doing? I am a thief. The master said, it does not matter. In this world, everyone has to be somebody, has to do something. You may be stealing, that does not matter. A profession is a profession and thieving is your profession. Just do it well with my blessings. Do it perfect. Don't be caught, otherwise you will be in trouble. The thief said, you are strange. You are naked and you do not have anything. The master said, do not be worried because I am coming with you. Only the blanket was keeping me in this house. Otherwise, in this house there is nothing. And the blanket I have given to you, I am coming with you. you will, we will live together and you seem to have many things. It is a good partnership. I have given you my own to you. You can give me a little bit and that will be right. The thief could not believe it. He just wanted to escape from that place and from that man as well. He said, no, I cannot take you with me. I have my wife, I have my children and my neighbors, what they will see, who you have brought a naked man. The master said, that is right. I will not put you into an embarrassing situation so you can go. I will remain in this house. And as the thief was going, the master shouted, hey, come back. This thief had never heard such a strong voice. It went just like a knife. He had to come back. The master said, learn some ways of courtesy. I have given you the blanket and you have not even thanked me. So first thank me, it will help you a long way. 
Secondly, going out, you open the door when you came in, closed. You cannot see night is so cold. You cannot see that I have given you my blanket and I am naked. Your being a thief is okay. But as far as manners are concerned, I am a different man. I cannot tolerate this kind of behavior. Say thank you. The thief had to say thank you, sir. And he closed the door and escaped. He could not believe what had happened. He could not sleep the whole night. Again and again he remembered. He had never heard such a strong voice, such power. And the man had nothing. He inquired the next day and he found that this was a great master. He had not done well. It was absolutely ugly to go to that poor man. He had nothing, but he was a great master. The thief said that I can understand myself that he is a very strange man in my whole life. I have been coming in contact with different kinds of people, from the poorest to the richest, but never, even remembering him, a shivering goes through my whole body. When he called me back, I could not run away. I was absolutely free. I could have taken the things and run away, but I could not. There was something in his voice that pulled me back. After a few months, the thief was caught, and in the court, the magistrate asked, Can you name a person who knows you in the vicinity? He said, Yes, one person knows me, and he named the master. The magistrate said, That is enough. Call the master. His testimony is worth that of 10,000 people. What he says about you? will be enough for me to give the judgment. The magistrate asked the master, do you know this man? He said, know him, we are partners. He is my friend. He even visited me one night in the middle of the night. It was so cold that I gave him my blanket. He is using it, you can see that blanket is famous all over the country. Everybody knows it is mine. The magistrate said, he is your friend. And does he steal? Master said, never. He can never steal. He is such a gentleman that when I gave him the blanket, he said to me, thank you, sir. When he went out of the house, he silently closed the door. He is very polite. Nice, the magistrate said, if you say so, then all the testimonies of witness who have said that he is a thief are cancelled, he is free. The master went out, but the thief followed him. The master said, what are you doing? Why are you coming with me? He said, now I can never leave you. You have called me your friend. You have called me your partner. Nobody has given me this kind of respect. You are the first person who has said, I am a gentleman, nice person. I am going to sit at your feet and learn how to be like you. From where have you got this maturity, this power, this strength? This seeing of things in a totally different way, such is the quality of a mature person that I call a mature. Master said, do you know that night how bad I felt? You had gone, it was so cold, without a blanket sleep was not possible. I was just sitting by the window seeing the full moon and I wrote a poem. If I was rich enough, I could have given this perfect moon to that poor fellow who had come in the dark to search for something in a poor man's house. 
I would have given the moon if I had been rich enough. I am poor myself. I'll show you the poem. Come with me. I wept that night that thieves should learn a few things. At least they should inform a day or two ahead when they come to a man like me. So we can arrange something. So they do not have to go empty-handed. And it is good that you remembered me in the court. Otherwise, those fellows are dangerous. They may have mistreated you. I offered that night to come with you and be partners with you, but you refused. Now you won't. There is no problem. You can come. Whatever I have, I will share with you. It is not material. It is something invisible. The thief said that I can feel. It is something invisible, but you have saved my life, now it is yours. Make whatever you want to make of it. I have been simply wasting it, seeing you, looking into your eyes. One thing is certain, that you can transform it. I have fallen in love from that very night, maturity to me is a spiritual phenomenon, a dimension of a spiritual, a dimension, an embodiment, a flowering of love, blossoming 